See that truck right there? He's got a little dog in there. He gets out of the fuel aisle and he clips him to that step right there with his leash. Right? So he's fueling up with his dog clip to the step of his trailer, of his reefer trailer. This is the fuel island he was in right here. Right? And he's back here fueling up. His dog comes over here. Takes his shit right there. He goes over here. He's not done shitting yet. And pisses right there. Then when he's done fueling, puts his truck back, or his uh, dog back in his truck and pulls up just like nothing happened. Today's truck driver, ladies and gentlemen. Today's truck driver. We're leaving West Memphis, Arkansas after fueling up, taking a shower, stopping, getting something to eat. Uh, Subway. Girl at Subway didn't know who Kenny Rogers was. How old does that make me feel? <laughs> Hun, I don't think too many black people know who Kenny Rogers is. Everybody knows who Kenny Rogers is. The, the, the girl's name was Lady, and I asked her if she knew who Kenny Rogers was because of that song where he sings, you know, anyway. Uh, she didn't know who he was. That's what all that. Truck drivers don't have any respect from, uh, you know, people. They don't want us uh, parking in their in their on their property because of uh, pee bottles being tossed out truck drivers we got to we got to start acting like adults now this is this is crazy you know be responsible you don't need to throw your pee bottles out on the ground and let your dog shit in the fuel island if your dog shits in the fuel island pick it up but this dude he had, that dog knew exactly what to do now we have a dog we put it out, she looks for some grass. And if there isn't no grass, she knows that she has to go on the dirt. You know, she she doesn't poop on the concrete. That's, we don't do that. And then, you know, I admit sometimes I won't pick it up out of the grass. Gayla always picks it up, but uh, at least it's in the grass. I mean, it's not in the concrete. People were like walking around there and stuff. So I know, you know, if somebody didn't, and nobody's gonna pick it up. Somebody's gonna step in it. And they're gonna be mad, especially if because they're by their truck. They're probably gonna step in it and get in their truck. And they're like, "What's that smell? I ain't been walking in the grass." Look at that. Oh, oh. That dude must have got his driver's license at NASCAR school. Don't you wish you could drive that good, huh? <laughs> Here's West Memphis. This is not one of our favorite places to stop, by the way. We do not get, I mean, people here just seem to be, uh, I don't know, not very courteous when you're trying to get uh, services done, like, I don't know, sit down and eat somewhere. You know, I, I, I'm talking about truck stops. I'm not talking about downtown uh, West Memphis or anything like that. Nothing against Elvis Presley. Sorry, man. Uh, but truck stops, I mean, these, these minimum wage workers, they don't want to be there. And they don't mind letting you know that they're just there for, you know, making their hours. We're going into Tennessee now. All across Arkansas today, it seemed like uh, that was flooded. Uh, uh, to the right and to the left off the interstate were, you know, uh, trailer homes and whatnot, and their whole yard was uh, flooded. So, probably not a drought around here. What do you think, Gayla? It looks like it. So, get it, Vegas. Oh no, you.
you get it already? Got that one easy, didn't you? All right. Now you're done. Hey, pick up your shells and put them in the trash. I'm making a mess here. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.